So we are on Avalon and we'll be meeting Lise. Lise, hello, welcome on Avalon. Let so, me show you around. Hello Lise, how's it going? Uh, all good, all good. Awesome. We, uh, we are here on the after. Mm -hmm. It's quite large, it's nice and shaded, important in the tropics. And we have a beautiful decoration made by our chief purser, who's uh, Kunbol. Kunbol is a Thai and he's used to providing six-star service. He's the owner's private villa, uh, major domo in the Amanpuri resort. So he knows what he's doing, as you can see. I can see the composition and the arrangement. Yes. Breathtaking. Let me show you in the salon. set up with um, a big sofa for a large number of people. They can sit here and enjoy watching TV. In the meantime, I think that's a special feature of this boat. There's a separate dining room which can be set up for lunch or dinner as the guests request. Um, right here. I love this model. It's mm -hmm. so cute. It's a nice little touch. Yeah, the owner actually has also a a, a, a bigger version, I imagine, as well? Yes, 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 yes. yes. And um, so it's nice to have the dining room here, the dining room separate. And if there are children in the party, they can uh, watch TV while, while the older the, the parents or the older people have a nice quiet dinner. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's some nice artworks. There's a special story about that statue, which nobody knows for sure, but it's quite precious. And the captain, the previous captain, was so worried that it would fall over, mm -hmm. he gave the statue a Velcro strap, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is kind of funny. So, I can relate to that. Yeah. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And here again, this is sort of like a Christmas atmosphere decoration. Uh, Evelyn has four cabins, so we'll go down here. They're all in this area. There are two double cabins and two twin cabins. Let's have a look at the VIP first. As you can see, I think the owner, he conceived this boat as a, a family platform for holidays. Mm -hmm. So all the colors and the decoration is sort of warm and inviting. It's not out to impress anyone with a lot of uh, decoration, but it's just tasteful and elegant so mm -hmm. everyone can feel at home. Wonderful. Yeah, and it's it is set up as a, as a charter boat, so so it's not like there's one super big cabin and and some few small cabins, yeah. but it's thought as a yeah. you know like to accommodate comfortably a yeah. group of people. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have to say that uh, this is the first time that this boat is for charter available uh -huh. for charter. Just last week, the owner decided that uh, most of the time his family was busy. So they could not join him to uh, have a trip on the boat. So he said, okay, let's try charter so other people can enjoy my boat because he loves his boat. He doesn't want to sell it. <laughs> so let other people charter my boat and enjoy it as, as I do. Wonderful, so we respectfully. Are totally mm -hmm. new to charter. Um, I think you will be amazed when you see the bathroom. Uh, first of all, okay, the master is a little bit higher, so it has some mm -hmm. extra, extra uh, space. space. Mm -hmm. And they have this really cute system for the curtains. No funky curtains that move around. And the bathroom is amazing. Yes. Yeah, and the bathtub. 
This and this, this, this is a shower. All right. It's a funny shower. I'm not sure where it came from. Well, I, I love that the kind of waterfall effect of the shower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, his and her Italian thing? marble, mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. sort of like um, it's it's uh, like a warm color, not white, not black, but some pleasing to the eye. Mm -hmm. And the owner is particularly always aware of the lighting so he makes sure that the lighting is adequate but it's sort of creating a warm atmosphere on the boat i can imagine we could come back like in the evening and uh, i see what it would look like yeah, i can imagine fun. with the especially with the red tones mm. Mm. Yeah. and this is the crew <laughs> they, know they always like to make funny yeah. things and, and nobody else can replicate that like it's super like try making them at home impossible we have uh, <laughs> some of the guests that we had on other boats they asked for a lesson oh, oh so that is learn. possible yes. and they can do it Kun Bon can teach wonderful uh, besides the two doubles we have the two twins again mm. the cabins are really quite comfortable there's the indirect lighting um, there's a shower toilet. And this is identical to the port side. Uh, the cabins are not convertible. They're just uh, twins. And I see a little TV. I see individually adjustable AC and yeah. mm -hmm. It's a little bit cooler, you know, time mm -hmm. is very hot and it's humid, so uh, here again a cozy area rather than a, a rectangular table, that's like rounded corners, a big sun pad here and up forward on the bow there's another little seating area with the sun pads for the people who want to Soak it up. I see. I'm trying to imagine how, how it looks here. Is uh, this this place would be a a, a bar barbecue? Yeah. So um, there's a oh, sorry. Right. It's not. It's, it's a bar. Yes, yes. So so not this a is a bar. So in the evening you, you would sit down for like sunset and then have yeah. some drinks. This would be the place to to get the drinks. People can lay down exactly. or sit at the. Okay. This is the Understood. perfect place mm -hmm. for that. it's not as busy as in the maps or other places mm -hmm. so you won't have a lot of boats around you so sitting on the aft deck is actually really nice as well awesome. uh, some of the toys are here that's the guest tender mm -hmm. um, then we have uh, two kayaks, kayaks. Mm -hmm. and stand up pedal boards uh, there are snorkeling gear and we just ordered or the owner ordered a uh, swimming pool Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so that, One of those uh, little island things. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Oh, so should we finish at the bow? Yes, yeah, sure. Right. Amazing Thailand. I'm thinking what these things are. This this would be like they're like platforms for fish. Uh, what are they? It's uh, in, in some of these places people live or they live there temporarily. Uh -huh. and I see. Doing the fish Wonderful. Or they have the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here, oh, here's the jet ski. Here's Wonderful. The jet ski. the jet ski is new from 2019 this year. 
uh, this is the crew tender. And here's a little seating area, and you can walk on to the sun pads. I would also mention that the rules on using the jet ski are much more relaxed in Thailand than in some yeah. other locations. So yeah, that's so an advantage. Of it's, it's always safety, safety first. first, of course. So the crew, uh, the captain or the crew will give people uh, a lesson. Mm -hmm. They will drive the jet ski together first. Mm -hmm. and, and if they think the guest is capable of driving by themselves, then they can. Perfect. But not in a national park area in, in Thailand, such as Pipi, Krabi, Pangna. These are national parks, so you are not allowed to use it yet. And it would be a shame to just run past it, you know, you want to <laughs> yeah. take a little kayak. Yeah, I mean, the kayaks are perfect because you mm. have so, you know, the distances are not that uh, big. You can just paddle from one little beach to the next bay and, uh, uh, you know, jet ski is not uh, necessary here. Awesome. So, Lisa, mm. I will thank you for showing me around. Thank you for coming on board. Have a great day. Okay, thank you.